What's up everybody? My name is Brianna Newton and this summer I am a 2020 USGA boat ride intern with the Carolinas Golf Association right here in Southern Pines, North Carolina. Just a little background on myself. I'm currently a tournament operations intern with the CGA and at the end of the summer I'll be graduating from NC State University with a degree in sport management. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I thought it'd be a fun idea to take you all on an inside look of what it's like to be a CGA intern. Maybe you've seen some of us interns out at the tournaments or on the social media pages, or maybe you're thinking about interning with the CGA yourself. Either way, I'm gonna give everybody a behind the scenes look at what a day or two in my life is like as an intern. Working in tournament ops, I'm going to show you a lot of what goes into the preparation and the administration of our events. So from the early morning wake up calls to course marking to starting, scoring and everything in between, I'm going to take you along for the ride. The CGA also has communications interns this summer as well who handle things like social media, photography, and press releases. So I'm going to be checking in with them throughout the day so you can see what goes on in their day as well. So without further ado, here is a day in the life of a CGA intern. to the vlog. We are heading to the office right now. It's about 6 30. Uh, we're gonna meet up with everybody and jump in the van and we're heading to Florence, South Carolina today uh, to Florence Country Club for the Carolinas Junior Boys Championship. Um, the tournament starts tomorrow but we're heading down today so we could do our course marking and all of our setup that we do beforehand so I'm gonna take everybody along for that probably show you how we mark a course um, how we do our setup with our signage and stuff maybe a little stake and rope uh, pin locations we'll see where the day takes us um, but we're almost to the office so see you in a little bit <laughs> here in Florence doing some course marking. Um, I thought this was a good area to show you because it happens to be both red and yellow penalty areas. So we just added our lines all around the area. Generally the courses only have stakes out here. Sometimes they don't even have stakes. Um, so we just do the yellow line all around the yellow area and then the red line all around the red area, I added a red stake um, to signify that the red penalty area is starting and the yellow is ending. Um, and that's just what we generally are doing when we are doing course marking is just defining the areas, making sure they're, they're well defined and that there's no question what's happening with them. Um, haven't done a lot with out of bounds today because a lot of uh, the out of bounds is defined by fences out here but um, if we're doing out of bounds we're just going around checking all the stakes making sure that the um, you can see from stake to stake there's a clear line if there's a big gap in between the stakes we'll go ahead and add one just so um, there's no question if somebody hits it in there whether it's in or it's out so that's that's what we've been up to. I'll check in with you in a little bit. So we've pretty much finished up with all of our course marking out there. We've just been working on our setup 
and doing things like our signage, our stake and rope, that kind of stuff. As you can see, we've got some stake and rope set up on one here. It's pretty simple, just hammer these stakes into the ground, wrap the rope around the top of them. We've got some going over on the driving range a little bit too. We have a lot of other stuff that we set up, but a lot of it we do the day of in the morning because it's a lot of our tents and tables and stuff. So I'll show you all that tomorrow morning because I'll be setting up the first tee. But other than that, we are wrapping up for the day and that's about it. So we'll see you when I see you. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's about six o'clock. I'm at the hotel right now getting ready to head out for the first round of the tournament today. Um, I have a little bit of a schedule planned out already for me today. I'm doing some starting this morning as well as in the afternoon wave. Uh, other than that, it's just going to be, you know, all hands on deck, whatever needs to be done. That's what we're doing today. So um, just wanted to check in with y'all for my early morning <laughs> wake up call so you can get the real raw look at that. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, guys, so we just got to the course and I'm about to head over to the first tee and start setting that up. So I'm gonna put a clip in here of me doing that so you can see how that process goes in the morning. So we got all of our stuff set up on the first tee. Um, I am going to be starting first this morning, so basically what starting entails is uh, you make sure everybody's in the right place at the right time, you give them their scorecards, you go over all the rules with them. Um, I got my starters notes here that just goes over everything with them, make sure they have water before they head out, um, and that's about it. Uh, once you do all that, you announce them like you see on TV uh, from Florence, South Carolina, so-and-so, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next probably two hours. Um, I'll check back in with you later. Welcome to the 71st Carolinas Junior Boys Championship. This is the 8.50 starting time. First on the tee from Conover, North Carolina, Holt Allison. So, I uh, finished up my starting quite a while ago. Um, basically what I've been up to is I've been sitting out on hole five, well between hole five and hole six. We have a lot of ground under repair going on out here, so it's been kind of chaotic with the rulings, I'm not going to lie. I've been running between the two holes, helping all kinds of people with um, their relief from that. And uh, I've been riding up to the T on 5 where we have a water station, uh, refilling the coolers for that, making sure that's good to go. We're just going to do that all day, really, just fill up coolers, ice down the coolers again. And that's about all I've been doing. I'm gonna go to starting again in a little bit. And probably after that, just roam the course some more and help with ruling. So that's what I've been doing. See y'all in a little bit. been up to this morning. Tell us about what's been going on in your day. 
uh, different being on the other side of the camera now. Um, but this morning I've been camped out on the third hole, um, taking photos. It's the first day of the tournament, so we try and get a tee shot photo of every player that comes through. Um, that way we've got, every player's got something that they can take from this tournament, um, as well as later in the day when we're writing our recaps, um, we've got a, we know we've got a photo of the leader. Awesome, so what's your plan for the rest of the day? Well, we've got a couple more groups to come through number three, so I'll be here through then. Um, but once they're wrapped up, I'm going to head in towards scoring, uh, keep an eye on the leaderboard, and interview the people who are coming in near the top of the leaderboard that have a chance to be our number one player after day one. Um, with that, I'll take those quotes and get a transcription of that, write a recap of the day um, using the quotes, and tell, really just tell the story of the day. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So you're a media intern, but have you ever done any ops intern jobs? Yeah, we definitely uh, get a little bit of both. I have been able to mark some courses this summer um, and, and did some starting recently as well. Um, so you definitely get a taste of both sides of the spectrum. Um, and, and it's fun, you know, we get so locked into what we do with our media, um, taking photos, writing recaps, doing all that that you kind of forget about the other side of what happens at a golf tournament. And so it's, it's nice to get a taste of both sides. All right, I'm here with Grady Newton after his round of one under today at the 71st Carolina Junior Boys Championship. Grady, tell me about your round. Um, I hit it well. So I'm out here roaming the course and I run into our other ops intern, Brittany. What have you been up to today, Brittany? I've been getting ice, endless amounts of ice, and filling endless amounts of coolers with water so nobody gets dehydrated. We're winning today, y'all. You did some starting too earlier, didn't you? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I started it was for a, about an hour. It was a long time ago, I understand. It feels like an eternity. But we're just out here still uh, filling up coolers and we're gonna start taking down all of our water stations as people come through the holes and um, we'll start wrapping things up for the day. Um, I'll probably take you guys over to scoring just to show you that in a little bit, but just wanted to uh, show you another ops intern. <laughs> So this is our official scoring area. We sit here throughout the day and take everybody's scores as they come in from their rounds and input everything into the computer to make it official. All right guys, so I wasn't really gonna film anything today, but I figured it would probably be good to uh, check in with the media intern Palmer again today because day two at a tournament is a lot different for the media interns than it is day one because day one they do mostly uh, tee shot stuff and all that kind of stuff but today they do more um, social media and they create videos and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go check in with him and he's gonna tell y'all what he's been up to today. All right Palmer so day two at the tournament a little bit different than day one tell me what you've been up to today um that's different from yesterday or what social media stuff have you been doing just take me through it yeah day two at a tournament looks a lot different than day one um and if it's a four-day tournament day three kind of looks similar to day two um but really you know i mentioned yesterday that we do a lot of tee shots just get a photo of everyone um the final round is its own thing but any days in between um we really focus on getting a photo of people out on the course you know swinging in the fairway, hitting out a rough, hitting out of bunkers, putting, just different shots than the tee shot and the trophy shot that we're gonna get on the final day. And so today, our leaders went off early in the morning. I was able to follow them around as well as the groups that were around them, get some photos, and um, you know, was able to go in and edit those, um, you know, did interviews again, and wrote the story, got the recap done. Um, we've got some afternoon groups that are out, really out of contention and so um, with, with the guys that are atop the leaderboard being already finished was able to transcribe that interview get the story written and, and really have just been relaxing this afternoon um, in terms of 
media content. We're also really focused on social media in these days in between. Um, no one really wants to see every single player go off the tee, but they do want to see different shots from out on the course. So we're given updates on guys that are playing really well in the front nine, guys that finish really well. And so, you know, we're putting updates out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, you know, our Instagram story, um, as well as the feed. And so to day two and day three of a tournament, um, really any day between the first and the last day are really focused on social media and getting photos. Um, the last day of the tournament, we'll typically go out and just follow the leaders around um, because and, and really try and get the gist of their story for the round. Um, get a good understanding of what the champions round is going to look like, be it someone that's in the first group or the second group off the tee, um, excuse me, the first or second to last group off the tee. So um, tomorrow I'll be following around the leaders um, because we do have a good separation between um, that final group and the second to last group. So. Really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, it, it, you really do get to watch a really watch golf tomorrow. I, I keep track of their stats, their putts, their greens and regulation. So tomorrow is really fun. We put out constant social media content, keeping people updated at home that are following along with the tournament. All right, guys. So I just wanted to pop in and say goodbye. It's been really fun for me to go around and. Uh, film this video for y'all and I really hope that y'all do get something out of it and you enjoy watching it. Um, we have a lot of fun out here and I think that's just the most important thing to remember. Um, if I had to give a potential intern or a future intern a piece of advice it's just to remember to have fun because it is long days and and sometimes the, the job can seem really stressful or hard. So just remember to have fun with it and you'll be good. Um, I'm super fortunate to be able to work with the CGA this summer. It's been a really great experience and I would recommend it to anyone, especially if you love golf. So just wanted to say bye and um, I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was both entertaining and informative. If you're thinking about being an intern with the CGA next year, you can find more information on carolinasgolf.org. Thanks for watching, bye.